no good at all. Oh. Michael, uh, what's the matter? I don't feel good. Can I help? I'm sick. What is Get out of the way. didn't talk to a minute. They're trying to find a man. He could be on any golf course in town. Well, maybe we should have called Dr. Stern. She would have been here now. She's in the neighborhood. So is Thomas Sadie the butcher, but I wouldn't call him for another Ma, Michael threw up. He's really sick. I can't wait for Dr. McKenzie to call. I'm going to call Audrey Stern right now. Oh. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Stivick. Oh, my husband is really sick. He has a temperature now of 102, and he just... The receiving room in a half an hour. Yes, we'll have him there. Thank you very much. Was that Dr. McKenzie? No, that was his nurse. She said to get Michael to the hospital right away. Well, I'll pack the bag right now. McKenzie's going to meet us there. I don't know how we're going to pay him. Have you thought about that? Yeah, I thought about that. You ain't going to pay him. What? I am. Daddy, you can't do that. Well, don't be telling me what I can't do, little guy. <laughs> Daddy, it's such a lot of money. Yeah, I know it's a lot of money. All right, just pay me back whenever you can. I'll put it on the meathead's tab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, don't be slobbering me like your mother now. That's for Michael, too. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here. Now, don't tell Michael nothing about my pain, for it. I don't want him to know nothing about it. But, Daddy, Michael should know. I mean, you're doing such a nice thing for him. Well, after all, you know, he's uh, the only meathead you got. Right? Daddy, sometimes I could just... And then sometimes you're... Thank you, Daddy. All right, leave me make a phone call for a cab. Oh, boy. Oh, Michael, are you feeling a little bit better now? Yeah, a little bit better. The ice pack is helping. Oh, good, because we're going to take you to the hospital right away. Huh? Just come on, sit down right over here. Mom's getting your bag. Here it is, all packed. Well, I don't know about going to the hospital. I mean, I, I feel better now. Oh, it's just like going to the dentist. When you know you're going, your tooth always stops aching. Yeah, I wish this were a tooth. Oh, no, Mike. It would be much more serious if there was a tooth down there. What was that, Ma? For you to have to have swallowed it like a cherry pit and it would have got stuck in your appendix. Stop, Ma. When Mrs. Wiedemeyer had her appendix out, the doctor said it was an apple seed stuck in there. Stop, Ma. And, and, it, and it, it puffed out like a big balloon. And the doctor got to it just before it blew up. I think I'm sick again. We're all set. I call a cab. It'll be over in a few minutes. Oh, gee, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm going to be right there with you. Ma, did you remember to pack everything? Uh, mm -hmm. His toothbrush and his razor? Ah, he won't need no razor in a hospital. If there's any shaving to be done, there ain't no way to do it. <laughs> I think I got everything. Did you remember his teddy bear? <laughs> I'm trying to cheer him up. Oh, his pajamas. I forgot his pajamas. Oh, I'll get him. Oh, oh, Michael. Oh, 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 oh